let's determine the conjugacy classes of S3. So we know that the identity is always a conjugacy class of its own. So that's the first class we just found. And then we take one element and conjugate it with all the other elements. So I've done this for you here with one, two. The green lines we already calculated in the last video. And if you conjugate one, two with any other element of S3, you always get either one, two, one, three, or two, three. So these are a conjugacy class. If you, you can go on now and conjugate one, three, and two, three with all the elements, and then again, you end up with just these here. So the second class, which we find consists of these two cycles. And now there are two elements left, the cyclic permutations. You can just go ahead and look at one of these, let's say one, two, three, and then we conjugate with one, two. But conjugate one, one two is its own inverse, so we can remove this to the minus one here again. Now we just calculate this product. So one goes to two, two goes to three, and three stays. So one, three. Now what happens to three? Three goes to one and one goes on to two. Hoppla. So two here and two goes to one, one goes to two, two goes back to one. So overall, this closes here. <clears throat> so we find that one, two, three and one, three, two are in the same conjugacy class and actually they form the third class. Two cyclic permutations. And soon we will see that this generalizes, if we look at the conjugacy classes of Sn, they consist of all the permutations with the same cycle structure.